Hello web developers, welcome to another video. Today in this video, we'll talk about what is developer extensibility. Not only that, we'll also bit explore on the other extensibility options that we have today. So if you're working as an S4 professional, or maybe still working in ACC, but having certain appetite or interest to, to learn the different enhancement techniques that we have today, then yes, this is the right video for you. In current SAP world, there are few extension categories. The first one, let's say classic extension, then we have in-app extension or user extensibility option, or low code, no code rather. Then we have developer extensibility option. This is the one we are going to deep dive today a little bit, of course. And we also have one more option that is called side-by-side -side extension, which is very much focused on SAP BTP side or business technology platform. So let's understand what is this classic extension all about. In general, customers pick the standard software transactions and then they tailor it or mold it and also enhance it as per the business demand. So keeping that fact in mind, SAP has been offering different enhancement mechanism using which you can also change the standard software behavior. I'm pretty sure you have used various kind of enhancement techniques already in your project. Let's say baddies, enhancement spots, user exit, form exit, and so on. These are all current days known as classic extensions. Let's say we're working in a sales department of a company and every day you need to create n number of products. Now you have identified to create a single order, you don't need to navigate all the different tabs or you don't need to fill all the input fields available on the screen. Having said that, you thought like it would be nice if we can you know, remove all those unnecessary tabs or input fields, rather only keep the fields which I need to deal with. In those cases, generally, business user taking above developer self who can make certain screen enhancement to tailor the screen as per the business need. In current world, this is not needed. Using enough extensions or key user extensibility options, a key user or maybe domain user can do this stuff by their own without involving any coding and involving any developer self. This kind of enough extensions having certain limitations of course. Let's say there are certain fields that you want to display, which is not available in the database level itself. Then of course the key user or the domain user won't be able to make a tweak of it and render it just like using enough extension or low code, no code. It's not possible. They have to involve the developer expertise. And there it comes, the developer extensibility option. So let's now understand the what is side-by-side -side extension. Within BTP, there are a couple of runtimes, and one of the runtime is called ABAP runtime, which supports the ABAP development. This is also known as ABAP on cloud. And the framework used to develop this kind of an application is called RESTful ABAP Programming Model Framework, or RAP in short. Within SAP, internally, this kind of a framework is also known as Steampunk. So that means above developers can create powerful application within BTP platform using this full app programming model. So to build enterprise level software, above developers can integrate with the S4 HANA cloud or S4 on-prem system by consuming the RESTful APIs which are released and upgrade stable. So customer can grow side by side without having any upgrade dependency with SAP. Since release 22 August, S4 HANA public cloud edition, the same feature is extended and also known as embedded steampunk. Following 2022 release, this feature is also available for S4 HANA private cloud edition as well as the on-prem system. Now to explain the developer extensibility on the RESTful ABAP proving model, I'll be using the trial edition 2022 as recently as it published as a Docker version, which you can see over here. I already created a tutorial on that. So if you are interested, you can also check out this tutorial and install 2022 trial edition to your personal machine. If your computer hardware doesn't support that installation, no worries. You can keep following my channel because you will find different exploration videos in a regular fashion, which you can follow and refer and keep yourself updated with the cutting edge SAP technologies. If you're coming to my channel for the first time, then do subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon as it will intimate you the next time I upload a new content to you. Now there are different use cases under which this developer extensibility works for the RAP framework. The first one is the data model extension. Let's say you want to render some new fields to the application and which is not available to the database table. So that means it needs the data model extension for that case. And after extending the database model, the same field you can now render to the UI site. In the current episode, we'll actually deep dive to this particular use case and we'll understand how this works. Side by side, you have the behavior extension as well as the node and service definition extension, which we'll explore a bit in the future episodes. 
So as you can see, my Eclipse ID is already configured for the S4 HANA 2022 developer trial edition. I have already integrated it and I'm able to access all the different packages. So one of the package I have uh, opened over here as a flight reuse is actually the S-Flight demo, which is be offered under the slash DMO slash namespace package kind of. And uh, one of the application that I'm interested to showcase over here is the agency application, which I have already opened to the right side and it is the agency entity and it also does have the preview option and i can show the application in the browser so it's actually built out with the restful above program model concept so if you are not aware of what is this wrap and maybe you are beginners to this wrap and you want to explore a bit more and you need certain help no problem you can find this particular uh, playlist that i have already created Having uh, various uh, topics that I have covered in this particular playlist, you can refer to them and you can get up to the speed. It's completely free. So get yourself upskilled with this wrap today. So let's move on with the preview uh, button and possibly it'll show me the application. Voila, it's coming. And uh, there are certain selection criteria and the below is kind of a table talks about the agency's details. Click on the go button. And fantastic the data is uh, rendering now here the point is the slogan this particular uh, column or you know field is actually not coming or configured or available as the out of the box it's actually been extended or you know enhanced by the devil you know domain model or data model extension uh, process or use case uh, following the developer extensibility concept so let's understand this how this slogan field been added to the data model without tampering or without modifying the S flight uh, SAP provided application. So for your easy understanding, I have already created this kind of a flowchart uh, where the left side blocks are all about the agency application, the different components, and the right side are the extension points or extension you know um, blocks that we need to create at different level to achieve this data model extension and definitely we have to go from the bottom up approach because we have to start with modifying the table structure to to accommodate uh, this new field new property called slogan so let's say in the actual system how this has been done so now if i ask you that how did you guys you know extend the SAP standard table with the new property I believe you can recall you generally we do by an append structure or maybe special kind of an include structure. So there is a difference of course the append and include structure. Here in this case, SAP will provide a you know kind of an extension include or special include which needs to be modified. So let's go back to our Eclipse ID and you can see this is the particular table and this is the, the artifacts and here you can see one important annotation called enhancement category as uh, extensible any and below you can see this particular include called you know extension include agency so if i just go and navigate to that one then it will open this particular structure and here as well you can see that particular enhancement category is again extensible any and this is the defined structure having certain dummy field this structure will still be there in the SAP namespace and we have to extend this structure to add up our own property or own custom field. So to extend the standard structure called ACXT uh, include agency, a new structure to be created and that structure has to be created within customer namespace. Okay. Don't get confused with this slash DMO slash because it's a SAP demo namespace under which SAP offered this as an example, but ideally it has to be created under customer namespace. So let's check out in the in our Eclipse ID that how it's actually created. Uh, this is the particular, you know, slogan uh, package uh, that you can find. And this is the structure that you can find over here. If you double click to this structure, you see it's having not, not extensible because this structure cannot be further extended by another structure, right? So any new properties that this you want to include, uh, that has to be a part of this particular structure only, but not further extension is possible for this specific customer include. Okay, that's why this is very, very important. We have to put while well, we create our customer structure, custom structure under customer namespace, that structure should category enhancement category should be not extensible. And we'll add up uh, all the properties over here 
not anything further in a different structure so that's why this is important so that way what will happen this particular sext agency structure gates exchange it with this new structure containing this property i think pretty clear now the next step is to look for some extensible view in our current example uh, application the respective extensible view is called e underscore agency so for the data model extension we should look for this kind of an view which needs to extend it by an extensibility provider which will be created again in custom one namespace so let's go into that and see what how these two things are linked up okay so anyway go back to our eclipse id and look for that e underscore agency of course we'll find it under the sap provided uh, application so this is the reuse agencies the sap provided package under that that go into this code data service or cds views and here we see something called e underscore agency which is an extension include view or agency application so this actually a kind of a view entity uh, and uh, it's created as a select from the underlying table which is a demo agency just now we have saw we have seen over here so under demo agency using demo agency this particular view is actually created and it has only the key fields or kind of a basic view you can think of it doesn't have anything extra only the uh, key property agency id uh, out of this you know uh, agency table that you can find in this extensible uh, view one important thing to note this particular above catalog extensibility uh, annotation it is set to true right so now we will check out this particular extensibility provider uh, that should be linked up with this extension view for that where we will go we will go to the customer namespace so in power in our example uh, it should be of course not a customer namespace but it should be under you know this uh, this particular package so this is called the extensibility provider and this actually extends this e underscore agency extensible view with the underlined field that is called jet slogan that anyway we add it in the structure include structure and this is the alias name that been added so this one will be further referred to the upward vdm layer or virtual data model layer once we complete step two then from step three onwards it's all about extending on you know projecting that particular underlying new property uh, to the uh, all the way through the vdm layer which is the virtual data model layer that starts with a basic view or in this case a root view and we'll be creating an extension implementer which will be linked up with this root view right and then uh, the same implementer we have to also create it up for the few more other layers upward layers one is the behavior projection or kind of an i view or interface view and the top layer which is the c view or consumption view through which the actual consumption should happen to the service definition and service binding for our restful application programming so we'll be creating a three few more extension implementer just now uh, which will be linked up with the respective vdm model or vdm uh, respective layer of views so let's now quickly check out in our uh, eclipse id that how it's been done so now we'll let's check out the data definition part of the standard application and we'll find something called r agency tp this particular uh, cds view and if i open it it's a root view of course and it's also extensible is true this annotation is important and one more important thing is now that there is an association connected with this extensible view so that way my extensible view is actually linked up with the root view which i have shown over here so this extensible view having an association with this root view and now we'll be having an creation with this extension implementer so uh, let's go to now our custom customer namespace which is equivalent to this particular package let's open it and we need one more uh, implementer that is called uh, you know this is the r or root right xs x underscore slogan underscore r or root if you double click on that you will see that it's actually extending view this r agency or root view by following this extension association so you just underscore extension because this is what you can find 
like when we created the root view this was the association and this was the association name right so following that association name i'll be able to pick up the properties which are declared in this extensible view through our extension provider i know a little bit complicated but i believe just follow this particular flowchart you'll understand that how this uh, mapping is done so this is what our extensibility provider through which this new property available to here and from the root agency we'll be using this extension underscore extension uh, uh, name right extension name or association name uh, using that association name, we'll be able to grab that custom field added over here that's fantastic right? this kind of a flow is happening so this is actually created in this uh, in the structure as you can see right and we are actually taking the alias name which we declared right as we saw last time so after this particular layer is up we are actually now in the root view level we have to move a little further through the vdm layer and you have to go to this behavioral projection or interface agency so that will again find to our a standard application called i agency tp and here is the again extensible true because we have we have to map eventually the extension implementer so here you can see that it's link up again with our agency and you don't see that particular property over here it is not there right anyway this is basically it is a standard application you will not definitely find over uh, the custom property makes sense so for that we have to again create one more implementer at this interface level or you know projection level view so for that again we'll go back our uh, customer namespace kind of an equivalent to our this uh, reuse agency slogan package and now we'll pick up this one x slogan i agency so this kind of a naming convention helps to identify which one should be linked to which layer of the video right it's so like r to r i to i and c to c so that kind of a level i believe you have already understood so here actually connecting by extending this interface uh, agency view uh, with this uh, you know agency dot uh, this one okay so that way now this layer uh, this layer is done all right now of course the final layer and final layer is our consumption view but here we have to do one more extra in our implementer and that is you have to attach certain annotation that we are all interested to uh, that will be used actually for the rendering purpose so let's quickly go to the c part uh, that will again go back come back to our standard application which is c over here and it is actually the consumption view and you will find uh, different semantics and uh, allow extension extensible true everything fine we will go to the another extension implementer and that will again go our application and you will find something called xc agency double click on that voila you see finally the property is over at the consumption layer and these are the respective uh, ui annotations that is added one is the line item level we will be able to position that field uh, and then certain you know identification site then we will be finding something on the default search element or selection screen so everywhere what wherever we need that property to be rendered i uh, here in the consumption side will be attaching this particular ui annotations and voila we are done okay so that is the top layer consumption layer and so now if we just you know see this application over the browser uh, this is our application we are able to see this property and uh, if we go there to the detail page and uh, you can find this property is over here so this is the developer extensibility i just wanted to cover in this uh, episode and uh, hopefully it is clear to you that, uh, that how this data model enhancement uh, can be performed using developer extensibility and in the upcoming episode definitely we'll be exploring a bit on this behavioral extension side as well as the node and service definition side and thanks for watching shortly connected to the next one till then goodbye